So today uh, we got a lot of action, uh, not only with uh, the dollar, but we also got a lot of action uh, with all of our uh, yen pairs. Um, with all of them bouncing um, today, uh, it was definitely uh, a great day uh, for uh, anything being paired against the yen as well as all of our dollar pairs. Um, and so uh, what we what we have is we have uh, for the uh, dollar, we Get a lot of action uh, above this area, uh, pushing up before pulling back um, a deep pullback. And so with the results that are going to be coming out and the decision that is going to be made um, publicly as it pertains to the uh, interest rate decision, uh, with that, we do have uh, this uh, area here on watch. We do have uh, support now uh, underneath price action with the weekly open. So now the individuals that bought at the top of the week, they are uh, now in the green. So uh, for this uh, this dip that took place, uh, this nice bounce that occurred off of the 200 per moving average, uh, we have that uh, continuing uh, here. Uh, we have it uh, right here underneath the minor quarter area, and then uh, underneath the minor quarter minor quarter area, um, we have support with the weekly price. And then we also have here for the uh, UC idea. The UC idea is uh, currently uh, falling below weekly open. Uh, it's falling below weekly open. Uh, it did get a bounce off of its 20 period moving average, uh, which also coincided at the time uh, with uh, the minor quarter area. So the minor quarter area, as, as well as the 20 period moving average, uh, all worked in unison uh, together in order uh, to. Uh, a cause for this bounce that we saw to take place here uh, to take place. Again, we talked about how long ago it was since price was at these highs. So we talked about this as far as top of the year. And then we talked about over here uh, last year this time. So last year, October was the last time it was up at these highs. So it's natural that we'll see a slight pullback um, before a continuation up if the news comes in and is bullish for the dollar. Um, we also see uh, confirmation in the pullbacks that are occurring as far as with uh, those things that are being that are paired against the dollar. Uh, we have a nice uh, uh, cut occurring here as far as with the 20 period moving average um, acting as support. We do have 121 acting as support. So again, if something uh, bullish does come out as news for the dollar as it pertains to uh, what's going to be decided, then we could see this break down through that area. And uh, with that, we have uh, that 121 area at acting as support. And then we also have uh, on to the downside as far as uh, the trade idea uh, for a breakdown uh, of its moving averages uh, it coming back down to retest this weekly open, which is exactly what it did the last time that it bounced. It bounced up to 122. After bouncing to 122, it came back down to retest weekly open. After retesting weekly open, it then bounced right back off of that. So currently, it's still holding on to its 20 not it's 50 at this moment for the eu idea uh, we have something very similar where it lost um uh, those moving averages and now is underneath all of its moving averages uh, but it's finding support temporarily here um, at the start of the week's open and then we also have here for the au idea right now right above is weekly open uh, i started off pushing the week up and then pull back to last week's open almost And uh, with the report that is coming out tomorrow for the dollar, again, these uh, ideas uh, are looking uh, like they have more of a uh, bearish bias. Uh, but again, it's going to it's for, there's going to be a variation um, depending on not only the pair, but also what it is that the dollar does indeed decide to do um, as it pertains to the uh, rate. And for this one, this is was an absolute flush mode, nice bounce, uh, collected two moving averages, lost both of them, came back to the week open after coming back to the week open. It then took out uh, the end of the week close as far as the end of the week low for last week, uh, last week. And uh, then 
uh, proceeded to bounce from there. So right now it's trapped in between last week's open and this week's open. So it's up for people that bought this week, but it's still down for people that bought last week. So something to keep your eye on um, for an idea to potentially uh, take uh, either way, uh, depending on uh, the type of risk reward scenario you would like to set up for yourself. Uh, these are the ideas uh, that we uh, do indeed have and that we're watching at this time. 